Hello everyone! This is Maureen from Sophia Street Studio and I am here to do session number one of Journaling by Fives created by the amazing Shannon Green. And if you want to know all the amazing scoop on Journaling by Fives look Shannon Green up on YouTube, subscribe to her, she's phenomenal and you can also join our Facebook group journaling by fives and see all of the amazing things that people are doing with the five steps and everything that's going on with that. It's a really wonderful group of people and I recommend it. Okay, so I went through and I glued two pages together using Yes Paste to prep because what I want to do with my paint is going to do have some wear and tear on the paper that's in this notebook. So I went ahead and I glued them together. I will say I'm usually a fan of Yes Paste and I usually thin it down with just a teeny bit of water so it's easier to spread. And I thought, oh, you know, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe I should just put it on full steam ahead right out of the jar. For those of you who have never used Yes Paste, it's amazing. You end up with a very flat stick, which I like. It's going to get all textured, but I don't want to start off textured. But when I didn't use the water, I don't know if you can see that, but it didn't adhere as well. And I've got all these lumpy bumpies on two pages. So there's all these gaps, even though I spread it the same way and I used the same amount and everything. So then I went back to thinning it out with water and the pages are much flatter. So for those of you who may have tried it before and didn't like it, it may be because you need to thin it a little bit with water. I don't know how old this was before I bought it, but I've had this, well it says copyright 2005, so if that's any indication, I've had this for quite a while. So just something to keep in mind. So I have my 20 pages prepped and ready. I have my clip so I know when to stop. This is my, well this isn't a page I'm going to do. This is actually the last page spread. I'm going to end up doing page spreads because of the paint technique that I want to try to be more free spirited with this process. And there's my phone. The only thing that I did ahead of time was prep the pages and I also cut what seems like a million sheets of wax paper because I am going to put them in between as I keep going just so that the paint, because they are the double page spreads, so that it doesn't glue together and make me cry. I also grabbed a bunch of different craft paints. I have kind of my bold paints and I have my pastelli type paints and I have some Liquitex Iridescent Bright Silver ink. This is the only ink that I have. I need to get more into inks, but I have so many other supplies. I really, I really don't want to start buying other ones, but since it's paint and ink, I want to, if I can get it open, I want to use some of this in the spirit of JB5. This I got at Hobby Lobby on clearance for something ridiculously cheap. So might as well use it. So when I've watched people do these videos, I've seen lots of different ways of putting the paint on the page. I'm not going to use a brush. I'm not going to use a scraper. I'm not going to use a brayer. What I would like to do, I just saw something on Facebook. I did one of those Rorschach ink blot type tests. I know they're not very accurate when you do them on Facebook. However, it gave me the idea of if I put the paper, and I used to do this when I was a little kid. I do these with my students at school. You put the paint on one side and then you smush it and then it makes a symmetrical image. We were working on symmetry and math and we did those. And so I thought that would be really cool for JB5 and it would, I'd be sure that I would get done in my 15 minutes. So that's why I have the double page spreads. So I'm just going to slap some paint on, squish the pages together, 
stick in my wax paper and move along. I'll probably be adding the ink at the same time as the acrylic paint. I think so. We'll, we'll see how it goes. This is my first time, everybody. It's pretty exciting. Okay, so I'm just going to start slapping some paint on the pages, and here we go. Oh, hmm, maybe I should set a timer. How about that? Well, I'm using my phone to control the camera, so let's just do the honor system here. All right, it is 9.39 p.m. That gives me until 9.54 p.m. And I will just have to keep an eye on my watch up there. All right, here I go. Maybe it would actually help, though, to make sure that all of my paints are open before I try and use them. So forget that time. I'm going to open my paints and come back once that's done and then start for real. All right, let's start the clock again. It is 941, so I need to be done at 956. Ready, set, go. That's nice. Making some bold choices on my first page here. Okay. I already got orange paint on the next page. <gasps> I love it! I am going to need oh whatever. I think I'm going to use some more. The hardest part of this process seems to be putting in the wax paper. Okay. I think I'm going to try and use a little bit more paint. It's kind of a fine line because I don't want it to ooze out. Now I haven't seen any videos where somebody did this, but I'm not claiming that I'm the only one who has. There may be other JB5ers out there who have done this technique. I'm not trying to steal your thunder. Just came up with this one in my own brain. Hmm, definitely need more paint. Oh, I forgot the ink. That's okay. I'll go back and do the ink. And probably go back and add more paint too. This one might be muddy. Putting red and green together. Oh well. The best part of this is smushing the pages around. Whoa! Okay, that's my favorite one. Definitely my favorite one. It did not get muddy either. You'll have to comment below and let me know if you see some random image in my paint splotches. We can start the new JB5 paint splotch test. Forget the other test, the ink, ink spot, ink blot, whatever it's called. All right. 56 it is. Not yet. Not. So 
switch into the pastels. Oh, just kidding. This may be my new favorite. Who am I kidding? They're all going to be my favorite. Definitely need the wax paper, though, because it's sitting on top of the page. The paint is not soaking in. That's not really enough. Green and blue. And a little bit of white. Why not? Maybe. All right, and the weight is clogged. Try this. It's a good way to use, woo, okay, there we go. It's a good way to use up paint that, like that paint is really old and I don't want it to start to get gross. If it oozes out the edges, it really doesn't matter, but I prefer to not waste paint. Oh, I want to do that again because there's lots of white left. Smush that down a little bit more. Ooh, cool! I kind of see a frog in that one. Back to the bolder colors, little swirlies, and some orange. And some of this off-white. I'm naming the colors like you can't tell what colors they are. I am doing fantastic with time so far. Yep. Because I'm getting two done at a time and a go. Wow. That looks like a cobra to me. That did too much up there, did it? It's just like a big blob. Maybe I'll doodle something there. Now these might end up not being symmetrical after I put the wax paper in because it's going to stick to the sides so it's not going to be, so that'll be cool, it'll be a little bit different. I should have just left all these open, that would have been smart. Dots, let's do some dots. Do dark blue and light blue, let's do a blue page. This is, oh, this is Smurf blue. La, 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 la. I live in a very quiet street. My windows are open because it's warm up here. But it seems like whenever I try and tape a video or something, <laughs> it becomes Grand Central Station, the Indianapolis Speedway. I'm at 9.49, I've got until 56, so I will have plenty of time to go back and add some ink. They look like clouds! Hmm, happy little clouds. Happy clouds. Let's do pinks and purples. Go a little crazy.
All right, almost to the, oh, a couple more, just kidding. Not almost to the end. Am I still in frame? really neat color combination. And also the wax paper is going to spread the paint out a little bit as I'm pushing on the other pages. Like right now, it'll... As I push on the other ones, the paint underneath is probably still moving, so... Alrighty, alrighty. Let's do greens. The more pages I do, the, the less particular I am with how I put the paint on, which is interesting to me. I already did that one. I have four greens. I'm missing one. Are these the same? Oh no, I have ocean green and spearmint. Oh, spearmint is darker than ocean breeze. Yeah, I can see that now. I have all different kinds of craft paint. I have some Craft Smart, which I think is Michael's store brand. Oh, fun. So Craft Smart, I have Anita's all-purpose acrylic. I don't know, that might be Hobby Lobby. I have Joann's Essentials, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's good for the jelly plate though. And I think that's all I pulled. Oh, and some apple barrel. I basically buy whatever's on sale. Okay, this is my last one. Let's... Go crazy. Let's do a rainbow one. Rainbow... Ooh, I've got three minutes to get my ink on. Sounds like a really good song for crafters. Get your ink on. And it squished out the edge. I am going to wipe that up just because I don't want it to get all over everything. What am I doing? Add it to my drop paper. Oh no, I got some blue going on. Awesome. Okay. This will be a good one. <laughs> How cool is that? Love it. All right. Two minutes. Harry thought doing this would give me so much extra time, but I got too complacent. If I don't get the ink on all the pages, that's okay. Uh oh. Cry. JB5 fail. 
This wax paper is terrible. Look what it's doing. Oh, only one side is waxy enough. Ooh. Well, lesson learned. Oh. So they're definitely not going to be symmetrical. Oh, that one's awful. Boo hiss. Even on the other side. Okay, so either the wax paper is terrible or the paper in the journal is terrible. No way! There's no crying in journaling by fives. Just make it work. Well, peeps, you've seen it here first. How not to do this? Oh, oh my gosh! All that time that I spent gluing pages together in this book. Awesome, I have a hole right through that one. This is terrible. Okay, this wax paper is going in the garbage. Well, at least you saw them when they were still beautiful. They'll be covered up, so it won't really matter. What a disappointment, though. Maybe these will be better because these are newer, or I mean, they're not as dry as the big, no. It seems like it's the kind of paint, the Craft Smart paint just, the other paints aren't sticking as badly, but the Craft Smart are, seem to be stickier. Oh well. My puffy clouds! They seem to make it sort of okay. Boo hiss. So if you do what I did, buy brand name wax paper. Do not buy it from the Dollar Tree. These wax papers are going to be cool. I'm use them to collage. Oh, that one's okay. And my funky rainbow is okay. Okay. Well, these are really fun, aren't they? So I'm going to take my heat gun and dry these before more disasters occur, and I will be back for session two. All right. I think this calls for some deep, crafty thoughts on session one. Session one, backgrounds, ink and paint. I did get ink on one page. I got paint on every page, including all of the wax paper that I hadn't intended on getting a ton of paint on, but it's all dry now. I think I figured out what the problem is. So, initially I thought, well, one side has more wax than the other, which it sort of does. One side is a little shinier, but I realized that the yes paste that I used to glue the pages together wasn't completely dry. So please 
save yourself some trouble. It's still wet. Even though I dried, I dried the paint with my heat gun, the paint's all dry, but in between the pages, it's wet. So I think that the yes paste just weakened the paper. It wasn't dry. So it came apart when I pulled the wax paper away. But that's the fun of this. You don't have to worry about what it turns out like because you never know. I, I may have to do some emergency glue surgery here. Other than that, I'm going to leave it. But that page is ripped pretty significantly. This one has a nice hole in it. Hello. But once everything else gets put on, it's not going to be as noticeable. The only thing that's not so cool is now I basically have one page thickness because the top one ripped off. The pages that were really bad that I showed in the beginning, these two were the pages that had the bubbles in them because it wasn't the watered down yes paste. And these just were epic fails. I mean, that's the one that I have the holes in it because it wasn't completely glued together to begin with. But then these, when I started using the one that was wetted down more, they're a little better. But that one's almost perfect. You got a little piece there and a little piece there, but the rest of it was okay. This was the not as waxy side, so a lot got ripped up. The cool thing is though, they're not symmetrical, so I don't have to worry about them looking the same. My puffy little clouds pretty much made it. And this page, whew, that was rough. This one did not rip at all. Score, but well, a little bit. But this one was one of the last ones that I did, so the paint didn't have a chance to totally glue everything together yet. And then my rainbow page, which isn't completely dry. Made it. This one is my favorite. I love it. All right. Deep thoughts about crafts. Deep crap. Whoa. Deep crafty thoughts. Try and say that five times fast and have it not sound a little mm, not so good. Deep crafty thoughts. Until next time.